Hey, what's up guys? I'm Skip and you're watching High Volt Gaming. Today's episode, we are playing some spin tires. You can see here we have uh, CCS's 1966 Chevrolet four-door loaded in here. That is the truck we're going to be using today and we're going to be exploring the Heaven's Gate map. So as you can see right here, Heaven's Gate, it's an absolutely huge looking map. Um, all sorts of uh, objectives and uh, log kiosks, another objective, objective, lumber over here, objective here, fuel right in the middle, just stuff going on all over this map, as well as some really cool looking terrain, like this little snake run going across the uh, lake here, across the swamp or whatever it is, and a bunch of other uh, swampy areas, and just uh, some really cool stuff. This looks like to be uh, some sort of maybe mountain area. So uh, we're going to try it out today and just see how far we can sort of get, see what we can see on this map. Get into a gear here. I am using my Logitech G920 steering wheel today. Absolutely love this Logitech for some spin tires. Definitely adds that other uh, little, little level of realism to it. So, Also, just to let you guys know, I am running uh, Spin Tires Plus and the GZO Rock Fix mod. So uh, both of those definitely give you added traction, make this game, um, to me, much more fun anyway. Instead of actually spinning tires everywhere, you're seeing the trails and being able to do some rock crawling and different things like that. So I've uh, definitely been enjoying those two mods. I actually did a comparison video sometime last week, so I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description. You guys can see exactly what the difference is between the Spin Tires Plus mod and the GZO uh, Rock Fix mod and stuff like that. Now, it looks like we just sort of ran out of trail there. I must have took one, uh, the wrong road. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so I sort of came up this little trail, which sort of ended. So we're kind of just uh, taking the back way here. That's all right. Anyway, whoa, there's some deep water for the 66. It didn't care. We just kept on rolling. Now, I am in a four-wheel drive here with the differentials unlocked for now. We'll lock them in if we need them. So far, this thing is just in beast mode, tearing up everything. See if we can make it across this bridge without landing in that river. It seems to be one of the hardest things for me on this game. It's uh, doing a bridge crossing correctly. I don't know how that happened, but... So we're just kind of randomly driving around here. There's a cloaking spot. Now, the uh, my map was already uncloaked, and that was another feature of that Spin Tires Plus mod. As you can see here, I mean, we just revealed that cloaking, but we can already see the entire map. So I'm actually really interested in this area over here. I want to do that snake run, so we'll see if we can make our way across there. Just go as the bird flies and see what we see. Let's see if we can get the Chevy up to some speed here. Now, right there, this thing was in fourth gear and kind of just seemed to die down. I don't know what it is, but some of the mods don't really seem to work well with the uh, with the wheel where you can actually pick your gears. Some of them work fine. Some of them just seems that when you get it in third or fourth gear, they just sort of fall flat on their face. Um, you know, and, and some of the other ones, when you hit third or fourth gear, that's when you're really actually coming into the potential of the truck and actually like pouring on the full power and kind of like you were in high one uh, if you're using the controller, right? So it's really weird how the different mods work. Uh, differently with the wheel here. Just something I kind of wanted to point out. There we go. Cool little area. We got those little glowing, uh, glowing, uh, what are those flowers there? Look pretty cool. Yeah, looks like we're just coming up to our snake uh, run here across the, across the swamp or whatever you want to call it. Now we have lost our light, which is not really the best for showing off a map, right? But I'm going to go ahead and keep going with it, see what we can do here. Now you guys definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you'd like to see on Spin Tires next. If there's any new uh, maps you'd like to see showed off or any new trucks, definitely let me know down in the description below. You guys, also, I uh, try to tell you guys at the end of the video, I'm trying to work it into where actually uh, more people are hearing it in the beginning of the video, but uh, definitely go over and check me out on Whoa, and there goes our truck. There goes our truck. That's what I... That's what I get for trying to plug my Twitter in the middle of the day video. Oh my gosh, we we are underwater. Okay, well that's the I guess that's the end of the video. Now we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and restart that back to the garage here. Let's see what we can see in a different direction. So 
Looks like we have a little rock path right here. Let's go check that out. So anyway, what I was trying to say before I just wrecked my day with this truck was uh, go ahead and check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description below. You guys can always hit me up over there. We uh, like to do different things on the different uh, spots. Like we just did the... Oh, look like a down bridge over here. We just did the monthly giveaway prize uh, contest over there on Facebook. And uh, if you're someone that likes Instagram, I like to do a lot of behind the scenes and sort of just uh, pictures of what's going on in my daily life over there on Instagram, like I said. So definitely check that out for me if you're into the social media. We are just, I didn't even lock this thing in four wheel drive. This is one of those crazy bridges that always gets me. I'm all stuck in the middle of it. It wasn't really my fault this time, but. I just don't understand these bridges. Who makes a bridge with a big open gap in the middle? How does that even work? What the heck? Okay, so this is apparently not a spot where you're supposed to cross. Back to the garage. But definitely a cool map. I'm definitely a, you know, a fan of this map so far. It seems like there's all sorts of uh, different stuff to see on it for sure. All sorts of dead ends and uh, hidden trails it looks like. Stuff like that. So... Pretty cool. Now we're going to try to take this other Y off this time. See what we can see here. There we go. So I just shifted in a third gear and this thing just like put the power on. So that's definitely one of those things that the, the wheel kind of does differently. Uh, you know, where you can pick your own gears. You know, third gear there, it seems like I'm just pushing the gas more almost than second gear. Now I have my foot still floored, but I'm second gear, the motor's not revving quite as hard. Third gear, the thing revved up and was ready to go. So it's one of the uh, weird things about the wheel, using the wheel and shifter. If you guys, uh, if any of you are using the wheel for this game, let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you have sort of the same uh, weird things happen to you sometimes. You know, I'm sure I'm not the only one out there running a wheel. And if you are thinking about getting a wheel for some spin tires, I would definitely recommend it. I love running uh, spin tires on this game, on my Beam and G Drive, a set of Corza, basically any racing game, uh, especially for the PC that I've put the, uh, you know, use the wheel with. I've absolutely loved it, and it's been a lot more fun than the controller. So if you're looking for looking at that kind of on the fence or whatever, I would definitely recommend it to you. Grab that wheel. It, it definitely adds another uh, you know, another level of realism to the game here. We're just cruising right along this little trail system here. Let's go ahead and pull up the map, see where we actually have made it to. We're about through there. Just keep on rolling here until we get out of this wooded area. I definitely say I recommend this map. Anybody looking to try out something new on here, if you haven't tried Heaven's Gate yet, shoot on over to spintires.nl and pick it up for yourself. Uh, make sure I leave a link down in the description below. Sometimes I totally forget that, guys. I'm so sorry. Somebody always ends up uh, letting me know, you know, hey, you forgot the link, and I try to add it in at that point, you know, if I haven't already. So if it's not in there, bear with me. Let me know, and I'll try to get it up there for you. But it's not hard to find. Just go on over to spintires.nl and look up Heaven's Gate, right? You'll be able to find it no problem. So let's go ahead and there's a little mudding for us here, a little water crossing it. And okay, apparently that was just the uh, final resting place of the 66 Chevy. It totally looked like we could snake across there and go into that uh, sort of uh, foggy area of the water, but that is not what happened. There's our truck at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I guess that's going to go ahead and end it right there for the Heaven's Gate and CCS's 66 Chevy 4-door. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As always, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.